So this box just showed up at our door a few days ago and I'm guessing from the box and some of the Chinese writing on it, uh, it's a San Martin. And San Martin, the uh, the official store on AliExpress, they have sent us uh, stuff in before for a review on our channel or website. They didn't contact me about this, so honestly, I have no idea what could be in here, but uh, yeah, let's have a look and uh, see what they've sent. Maybe it's just me, maybe I've forgotten. Of course, if you just send me stuff out of the blue, you want guaranteed coverage because I haven't planned it in. Yeah, it definitely is a San Martin. I wonder what this could be. All right, so this is one of their uh, newer models. Interesting. I have seen this one online. So yeah, I'm... I can't remember if they contacted me about this one. I'm, I'm not 100% sure they did, or if they did, I think I said that uh, I wouldn't have time to fit it in, but... I've got to say it is a watch I like. This is a uh, new variant of the SNO116. Let me check if there's any information here about this. Yeah, SNO116, but in a much more tropical color. Now I'm sure these uh, colors are inspired by certain brands that have come about recently, like Studio Underdog, for instance, who've gone heavily down these bright summery color routes. Although, admittedly, in the UK, we don't seem to have had a summer this year. But even so, the, uh, the standard SNO116 was a very good looking watch, one of my uh, favorites from their range. And I think this is actually really good looking too. Bezel definitely has a bit of 50 Fathoms vibes about it. Also, this isn't a GMT, is it? No, the previous SNO116 I reviewed was a GMT, or at least that I unboxed. Whereas this isn't, this is just a, uh, a standard watch. It does look a bit cleaner. They've done a very good job with the color scheme. Kind of looks like lemon and lime. I'll affiliate link this watch in the video description. I'll just check the measurements and uh, give it a closer inspection to see if there are any other notable differences. Bracelet does look like the same type, beads of rice bracelet, all Solid links, it's got the same uh, nice micro adjustment system as loads of the other San Martin dive style watches like this one. Claims 200 meters of water resistance and it has got a screw back, better type of screw back than the previous uh, watch from them I unboxed. Be a bit of a dial shot. This one has much more of a matte finish. Now, I think I see something on the dial there. Let me have a little closer look. Yeah, I don't know if this will show up on camera, but there's a tiny, like, it's not a dust particle or dirt, but there's definitely a little blemish or something just around here. It's not uh, bad, but if you look really closely, as I uh, inevitably do with watches, definitely notice that. It does have the same very nice uh, cases. The previous one, super slim. Let's see exactly what the size is again. Although it looks the same size. I think the last one was 39 point something. Yeah, about 39.4. Lug to lug, 46.3. Thickness, let me take the uh, sticker off because that'll add a millimeter maybe. This is with the crystal, 12 mil. That crystal is uh, sapphire and it's raised ever so slightly. I think without it, more like about 11 mil. Well, it's certainly a confident look, isn't it? It's uh, one of them that you're either gonna love or hate. Now, personally, I, I uh, quite like these brighter colors as of recent, but only when executed well. And I've seen this color scheme before on other watches, so it's kind of a proven one. Although the rest of the design is much more of a uh, San Martin original design, even if bits of it have been uh, inspired by other watches, shall we say. Now the dial, I've just had a closer look off camera. It, it isn't actually fully matte. It's got like a, a slight shimmer to it. And in that regard, it might look a tiny bit better than the uh, GMT version. That was the only real bit of the GMT version that wasn't fantastic was the inner bit of the dial, which was like black or gray or something. And that one was a little bit flat, whereas this one does look a tiny bit better up close. So I just turned off the lights to finish filming and uh, noticed something also that's different from the last one. So you'll see here, the whole chapter ring lights up. This one looks sick. That looms actually fantastic. That's definitely in the top five most legible watches I've looked at in the last 12 months. Yeah, great job on that front, San Martin. But yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, new version of this San Martin watch. 
First one was very popular. The two other colors from the looks of the website here, there's a uh, extreme orange one and then a, a purple one as well. The purple one looks all right. Now one of our reviewers is literally reviewing the GMT at the moment. So I might have to uh, rush this to him so we can kind of do two at once. But yeah, if you're a brand watching this, please uh, email me before you uh, send me anything because in future we might not be that lucky. I'll affiliate link this watch in the video description if you want to check it out.